Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. What we have here is an LNF, Lauren Fletcher, flat steel key lock. And I'm going to pull this one apart and show you how they work. Uh, this one here, oh, it's got um, it's got little screws. The other one didn't have screws. I thought I'd have to, it's got rivets. I thought I'd actually have to break it apart. I've had these sitting in a container for the last 20 years. Uh, we used a couple of them. We bought a few of them. We put them on the shelf and they've been sitting there ever since. So they were used on uh, lockers um, back in the olden days. But now, now you don't really see them anywhere. So now that the key's gone rusty and all the rest, they're going to sit there for another 20 years and I don't think I'll be using them. And besides that, I've got a whole tray of them. So let's pull them apart and see uh, see what, what makes these tick. Uh, there is a master key for these as well. Uh, well. There was one master key. I'm not sure if they're all master keyed. They do come in a different couple of profiles. This is the shorter one. The next one up is has a slightly longer key. And they're cut on a mortise machine or you can do it on the US uh, 101 as well. They're not as hard to do as a mortise key. Basically, you line it up like a normal key, and when you're cutting, you do a straight plunge into it, a straight plunge, a straight plunge. You don't go left and right. You just plunge into it, plunge into it, plunge into it, and then you get your file, and you just tidy up the edges. So they're a fairly easy, straightforward key to cut, as long as you don't try and go left and right when you're cutting, because that would not be nice. I'll just take out these little screws, pop it open. We'll see if we can see uh, see what's going on here. So they're made of um, die cast. Uh -huh. So there you have your main bolt, very similar to a mortise lock, and you have your levers here. So that's the interesting thing about these particular locks is that they do have levers, and they would be quite difficult to actually lock pick if you can have a look. So I'll just focus you because there's nothing worse if you can't see what I'm talking about. Okay, that's focused. Ow. Um, yeah, so here you have what you could call your curtain. Okay, so that goes down, centers on that shaft right there. Then you have your little tiny levers here. And as the key goes in, it'll pick up those levers and allow you to lock and unlock. Let's just push that through. Oh, there's too much rust on the key. This one will be going in the bin after we're finished here. So it rotates around. We want to project the bolt. Rotates around, all the, all the levers lift and allows the bolt to project. Going backwards now, keep all those levers in order. It's hard without the case and it can basically go back. So as far as a um, bit of security, yeah there is a bit of security. It wouldn't be an easy lock to pick because there's one, two, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven little levers that need to be lined up for this lock to work. Let's just pull them out. Rekeying wouldn't be that nice either, unless you had all your unless you had all your levers like numbered and you had some good space and depth, or maybe a card on the HBC where you could cut it to code. All right, so there's one lever out. There's some bit of white something here that I've got. Looks like a. Uh, rubbery plastic just put that aside as well and the bolt does that slide all the way out yep there's our bolt there let's just put him over there and as you can see the key goes in and there's your basically travel and your post there that stops it from sliding back so initially yes you could pretty much just drill that post out if you wanted if you punch the lock out or you could get to that post you could just drill that post out allow allowing any any key then to to work there's a bit of surface rust on this, I'm having a bit of trouble just pulling it apart. So there's all our levers and a post. And another one. So that's it. That's the that's the whole lock dismantled if you can so you can see it so we've got a rusty shell we've got seven uh one two three one two three four five six seven seven of them a little brass post a piece of rubbery something a main bolt which is made out of die cast and to be quite honest with you it wouldn't take much to just smash this back and break this little leg so i mean if you can get to the side of it and you don't want to drill through the front of it that would also be an option too if you drill the post out, that would be an option too. I mean, they're not super, super hard locks, but if you were to try and pick it, 
that would be an interesting challenge because you've got these type of keys here so you would need something a little tool to be made up and you'd be almost like picking a mortise lock very similar to picking a mortise lock you'd need to actually you know have pressure on your bolt try and lay, line up all these gates all these gates here all of them you'd need to kind of line them up and lift them apart from being a master key well there is a possibility there is a master key i mean some of these open ended levers do like allow that because you could have just about any cut with that and that would work you've only just got to lift it up and it could be you know anywhere these ones here they're quite specific they've got a, a bit more security in them as you can see the gap is closer so they would need to be lifted to that height so that's a close one that's a close one that's an open-ended one that's an open-ended one that's a close one as well and then we've got another two close ones so it does have some security as far as you wouldn't be able to mix and match your keys I wouldn't be able to grab another one and hopefully the key will work because I pretty much have five that need to be lifted to the exact height and there is not much room there when you compare when you compare the lever to the post you know two mil two mil not much these ones here of course they got they got plenty of room anything will get past that just lifting it up in, you know high enough should should take care of that so yeah so that is a flat steel uh it's not a cam lock flat steel locker lock or cabinet lock made by long reflection an old one that i've had sitting around for many years and now i'll probably just pop it in the bin i couldn't be bothered rebuilding it no one ever uses them anymore no one ever buys them anymore the keys have rust on them so even just to recut the keys i would have to uh, go through and you know cost me money to do that on the back here i am seeing a code a0219 sorry za0219 that's correct it's a za this one you can't, you can't see the z za 2019 some of the other ones have the same za 17 so that's the code which i could put on instacode and that would tell me how to cut this lock from the front i'm not seeing any indications of any codes oh sorry i lie on the curtain here it's written on the curtain za it is so that for a locksmith will save you a lot of time replacing the lock and mucking around i'll zoom in so you can see it time since I've actually worked on these 20 25 years ZA219 corresponding it to the key ZA0219 so they've left off the zero just to squeeze it in and on some of these other ones where it's a four digit one they've actually squeezed in four digits ZA1756 so that's good news at least for us locksmiths we can look at this and uh, read the code and make a key without having to pull it apart or make a key without needing to have one in our truck because having one of these in your truck is a rarity you, i don't know anybody who does they're just so old but um that's the za cam, za cam log by lauren fletcher leave your comments down below if you still work on them or if they're your favorite lock or or if you've got one and you use it every day or if you see them still in use any stories like that it's always good to hear I'm going to pop this one in the bin now that I've uh, now that I've shown you everything about it. Even the curtain's not even worth keeping because the cost of uh, this product is quite cheap. You know, you buy a new one if you need it. So yeah, that's a ZA Camlock, Lauren Fletcher. Thanks for watching.